We're still working on our personal personality placemats. If you want to do lines, there's two ways to mark them. You can do them with chalk or with a uh, quilt marker. If you use the blue side, it will stay on until you spritz it with water and then it will disappear. So it's a great marking tool for you. Now, if we were using chalk, that's when I would use it on this black because I could not see. So to further mark with chalk, I would just, like I made my marks an inch and a half apart. So you just run your chalk like that. It's a chalk that's got a little, you can hardly see it, but it's a little tracing wheel. And I'll come down another inch and a half and we'll trace again. You will sew on those chalk lines and then you can just rub and the chalk will come off. This is what you'd use on dark fabric. On this fabric, I am going to use the blue side and I'm just going to start in the center here and I'm just going to draw a blue line. It's going to scare you at first because you're going to see this blue. And then I'm going to move over and I'm going to mark this one every two inches. And I just keep marking. And when I'm done with sewing these channels, all I have to do is spray it with water and it will just disappear. It's called Mark Be Gone. I could use the purple side, which will show up a little bit more. And by morning, that purple mark will have just disappeared. So that's two ways. You can even take your marks and go across this way two inches and then when you quilt you'll be showing a square. So there's so many different ways you can quilt and then you can call yourself a quilter.